Today's unboxing is extremely exciting. Yes, more exciting than the holiday USB. More exciting than the gift card. This is the NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses or the NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses kit. So I'm going to unbox both of them and explain the subtle difference between the two kits, but not without wearing my NVIDIA 3D Vision 1 glasses. So you can see the boxes. Oh, that just came apart. <laughs> the boxes look quite similar, and the products are quite similar in terms of their functionality, but we see a couple of huge upgrades that have to do with a few specific things. So one specific thing is the comfort level. NVIDIA claims, and I have not yet witnessed these glasses in person, yet at this time, up till now, NVIDIA's claim is that they are significantly more comfortable, especially for those who already wear glasses. So we will put that to the test. NVIDIA's claim also is that Light Boost technology, for which you need a supported monitor. See, Light Boost monitor. Hmm. Uh, Light Boost, there we go. Gives you up to two times the 3D brightness with supported monitor. So here we have a VG278, which I will be unboxing later, but not at this time. And actually, those are those are the biggest. Oh no, no, the last thing. Yes, what you may have noticed about about the VG278 is the fact that it is a large monitor. It is a 27-inch monitor, and Nvidia's claim. Once again, it's a claim because I've not yet verified it about the 3D Vision 2 glasses is that they will be far more suitable for large format panels due to the much larger actual lenses. So you'll be able to take in more and deliver a more immersive gaming experience by having those larger frames and to have less sort of thick frame action going on within your field of view. So I'm just taking this out just like that. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get the glasses out at some point. So this is the kit skew. So the kit skew has the glasses, which you can plainly see I am holding. It also has uh, extra nose pieces if you have Sorry about that guys, battery, you know how it is. So extra nose pieces for those who have different shaped noses. Me, I have a fairly large nose. This one tends to work for me just fine, the default one. We also have a three pin cable as well as a USB charging cable. So the three pin cable is for Quadro users whose cards support that particular output. If you have a 3D Vision Ready monitor, which I definitely suggest you use if you're a consumer, then you do not need that cable. We have another charging cable. Oh, it looks like this is using that, um, oh, I forget what this one's called, but it's a different USB cable. It's okay. Slick's trying to tell me what it is, but it doesn't really matter. Basically, it's this one rather than a mini B. And that is for charging the glasses. And then this other one is probably actually a USB power cable for the emitter. Okay, we've got a little baggie to keep your 3D vision glasses in, keep them nice and safe, keep them from getting scratched, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Look at that, it's a nice little mesh bag there. Put that in there. No, you put that in there, and then you put like something else in here, like a cable, for example. Okay, cool. We've also got a little user guide for the USB IR emitter. Quick start guide, and finally the IR emitter itself, which has erg on the back of it, some IR emission details and settings. So that's to change the depth, that's your 3D sync in, which the cable is included, which wasn't included with 3D Vision V1, and there's your power and data connection. So let's test NVIDIA's claim about larger lenses first. So I am wearing a 3D Vision V1 glasses set. And I'm just going to take off this plastic so you guys can see what these look like and all of their, their 3D glory. And I really wish it was easier to remove this plastic. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple things. Oh, look at that. My, uh... Okay. So they've got little rubber things here. So that's presumably to keep them from slipping. And then they've also got a rubberized finish here. On the, here, on the nose piece itself, don't worry, I won't catch you in it, it's okay. I can control the angle of this one fairly easily. So there's a rubberized nose piece there. In terms of the overall shape of the glasses, here, I'm just gonna hold them side by side. You can see that they are significantly wider and they're also wider, sort of, uh, how do I explain this? Yeah, they're wider this way. See how these squeeze in at the end? 
these one, the new ones, the 3D Vision 2 glasses, don't really do that. So they do have the little rubber pad here, and then that is what keeps it from slipping rather than relying on pressure, which could make the 3D Vision 1 glasses fairly uncomfortable after a while. Another thing about the 3D Vision 1 glasses is they have this bump here and then this other bump here. So this bump was for the battery as well as the where the charging cable went and finally for the receiver the IR receiver on the 3D Vision 2 glasses the IR receiver is dead smack in the middle and then these bumps are significantly smaller even where the charging cable is concerned so what that means is that you're going to be able to wear them in theory with a headset more comfortably so you know what I'm gonna come back with a headset I'm also gonna come back with some glasses and we're gonna see how this goes from here so here I am with some sunglasses that I scrounged up and I'm going to try and put my 3D Vision V1 glasses over top of them so you can see that it's pretty far away from my face and the frames sit like within very much within my field of vision. I mean I can see about this much above, about this much below, I can see all around it very well. So hopefully the larger lenses will have some kind of an impact. Ah, interesting. Okay, you know what? It does make a difference because from the side, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but for me it feels like it's closer to the glasses that I'm already wearing, the sunglasses. Is it closer or is it not? Okay, Slick's so telling me it's closer, but it could also be to do with the fact that the frames are more in alignment with the frames on these glasses because they're, they're kind of enlarged. So I don't see as much of the frames, especially at the top. At the bottom, I still definitely catch the frames. I can see quite a bit below them. But that shouldn't be as big of a deal because the bottom is more like where your keyboard and mouse is as long as the monitor is going to be fully and captured, which is not a word, by the 3D vision glasses. And then the other thing that I wanted to check really quickly without glasses was whether they are more comfortable. They're definitely lighter. They're much, much lighter. These are very front heavy, so as soon as you put them down, they're like, well, it'll fall. I don't want to drop it, but they're very, very front heavy. These are not quite as, as, as hefty right in the front on the lenses. They've used a lighter plastic on that. And then, yeah, they don't have nearly as much weight to them. Although, I gotta say, wearing them, I still do feel like I'm wearing sw um, swim goggles a little bit here. Finally, the last test that I wanted to perform was whether I can actually wear a headset over top of them. And the answer is that I can. It's not perfect. There's a bit of a gap here, but that's sort of... It seems like the price to pay for stereoscopic 3D. Whereas, I'm gonna show you guys with the 3D Vision 1 glasses, what I had to do in order to wear a headset on them. Oh, you know what? This headset actually works really well with the 3D glasses in general. So maybe it's a bad example, but you guys can kind of see how it works. You can see the new glasses. I think I've modeled them enough for you at this point. And thank you for checking out my unboxing of the 3D Vision 2 glasses. Don't forget, you can either buy them as part of a kit, if you have an emitter, or you can buy supplementary glasses, so it's $149 for the kit, $99 for the supplementary glasses. And if you already have an emitter from 3D Vision 1, you only have to buy the new glasses. You do not have to buy a whole new kit. And then I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other stylish computer videos.